the other common clinical condition we are coming across in bovine is the wart so we are coming very common in the uh, young one i mean the first calving second calving and in the especially not only in the teeth and also notice in the other parts of the body region so sometimes there are six types of uh, um, papilloma virus like bovine papilloma virus are available 1 2 3 4 5 6 like that according to the distribution of the lesions we can classify see this type of lesions are noticed in some cases a small a papilloma like uh, things are available auto notice all over the teeth region sometimes a pedunculate lesions are noticed sometimes cauliflower like lesions are noticed in the udder and all over the body region these are all what so there are different uh, treatment schedules are being followed for the treatment of what according to our experience many number of veterinarians they would know many line of treatments are available according to our comfort and the owner's comfort and availability you can select any line of treatment usually in field practice they used to start the treatment with the antimal in 15 to 20 ml at alternative days for three to five injections a course or some practitioners they used to give weekly at interval so antimal in they used to give along with the alternative medical remedies in homeo there are many medical remedies are available like application of tujo ointment and tujo drops combined with antimalin a course for about uh, um, antimalin for five injections and uh, the other medical remedies for two weeks or three weeks have a dramatic result or notice in the field conditions it's a empirical treatment and many number of our veterinarians would have experienced in their practice in some cases you can uh, combine with auto hemotherapy auto hemotherapy means uh, collecting of blood uh, from the same animal and uh, giving it intramuscularly as a line of treatment for 3 to 5 injections also will be useful in some cases you can go for the auto vaccine auto vaccine means you have to collect the pedunculated wart material and you have to send it to the nearest institution and get uh, the vaccine prepared auto vaccine and give it at a weekly interval uh, 3 to 5 injections that will also be very much useful and uh, any line of treatment according to our comfort you can select it and very good results are noticed but you have to wait for 3 to 4 weeks for a very good results so earliest uh, um, uh, thing response will be very easy some some cases we have um, uh, tried with some herbal treatment also herbal treatment uh, and uh, like this uh, euphorbia hirta acalypha indica means uh, one in tamil they used to call as a kupameni and uh, this first one is in hindi they used to call the dudhiya in tamil they used to call as amman pacharsi the leaf is there so you have to collect these both uh, plants leaf material one handful and one handful both the things and you make it as a paste and uh, three pieces of allium sativum and uh, two peels means a banana flower uh, two or three peels of banana flower and 10 gram of gingiver and officially ging uh, ginger you crush it and make it as a paste and before applying these things this street line of treatment uh, being carried out by one of my uh, student uh, practitioner dr karthik in madurai is has done many number of cases successful treatment uh, in many number of cases more than 20 to 30 cases uh, successfully so this uh, first plant this euphorbia hirta this amman pacharsi you have to collect it and uh, uh, break the stem and you will be getting a small milk uh, like uh, fluid will be coming you touch it in the base of the wart first line of treatment for few days for two to three days or three to five days you touch the base of the wart with that milk from the plant material and then you start applying this material for one week or 10 days minimum 30 days so you will get a very good result so it's a long lasting you cannot get a result as a other line of treatment immediately sometimes some cases it may go for 30 days or 40 days line of treatment so these are all the herbal remedies this is a before treatment and this is the after treatment in the other lesions complete sloughing of warts are being noticed and here you can able to see the large pedunculated wart in the neck region complete recovery has been noticed and this year here around the uh, eyes there are pedunculated lesions are noticed and after treatment complete recovery is noticed all the only by herbal treatment and here also small small warts are noticed and here after treatment before treatment and after treatment complete recovery is noticed see here also so all these things but it needs patience it take long time more than a month even 40 days treatment 
will lead to complete recovery of wart. The other conditions, sometimes you may be coming across articaria like skin lesions all over the body region and you will get confused whether it is what is the type of lesions. So whenever there is a raised lesions all over the body, you think about the differential diagnosis as a fly strike, tail areosis, articaria. Articaria means any allergy condition, angioedema due to any allergy conditions and the lumpy skin disease. I will tell you how to identify these type of lesions in the field conditions. For example, whenever you are coming across a case of like this articaria all over the body region, you think about tail erosis. First, you see the mucous membrane. The mucous membrane will be pale in color. See the lymph node enlarge. The distribution of the lesions will be noticed like this all over the body region. So it is a clear case of tail erosis. So confirmation of tail area, you take FNAB, fine needle aspiration biopsy from the lymph node and treat it accordingly. So there is no specific treatment for this type of articaria. You treat the specific as tail areas. So it is a manifestation, cutaneous manifestation of teleriasis. Sometimes you may be getting a small, small, uh, like a 50 paise or 100 rupee coin, like a small superficial lesions, and which will get easily peeled off. And you can notice the mild erythematous lesions. The mucous membrane is normal. There is no temperature. All vital signs are normal. Feeding habit, everything will be normal. Distribution of the lesions, sometimes you may be noticed. It may be sometimes noticed in the inner canthus of the eye region and the neck region and sometimes here in the thoracic region. So that is due to the fly strike. When there is a fly strike, a seasonal fly, because of the fly population, they get cutaneous reactions and the small, small eruptions will be noticed all over the body region. And you can easily see the reachable area of the tail. When the animal is switching the tail, the tail will come up to the thoracic area. So you won't get the lesions up to the this region from the hindquarter or up to the thoracic region. There won't be any lesions. The lesions will be noticed only in the thoracic area. So that is because of the waving of the tail and waving of the neck. That is fly strike that you have to think about. The other condition, sudden onset of multiple wheels all over the body indicate of articaria. Any cutaneous drug reactions or allergy conditions are insect bite that may lead to articaria all over the body region. So here you can able to see the multiple wheel like uh, structures or eruptions all over the body region. This is a cutaneous drug reaction. So this animal was uh, administered with uh, some drug like for example, sulfatrimethoprim. Immediately it got a uh, allergic to the uh, drug and it exhibited manifestations like this. So it is articaria, sudden onset of uh, wheel like structures allergic reactions all over the body region. See, this is multiple uh, pruritic papules and you have to differentiate these things from the other things. See, cutaneous drug reactions are immediate onset. You have to here, you have to differentiate from the other mange that you have to differentiate from the other mange also, chorioptic mange or any other thing. So sometimes when there is any um, sudden onset of uh, uh, this type of articaria, suppose you are giving one injection, the animal got immediately allergic to that uh, drug and cutaneous uh, drug reactions has developed, articaria developed. So there will be puffiness of the eyelid. The eyelid will be uh, swollen, vulval edema will be noticed, the animal will be restless, frequent urination and defecation will be there, the uh, severe respiratory distress will be there. In such a type of cases, you have to manage it with immediate administration of Antihistamines. You immediately give chlorpheniramine malate, 0.5 mg per kg body weight. Immediately you give it intramuscular. And uh, if the animal is having severe respiratory distress, you give frusamide. And if the animal is having systemic involvement and a sudden reaction is developed, then you can go for even adrenaline. So, 1 ml adrenal ampule is there. You take it 1 ml, mix it with 9 ml of normal saline. So, it becomes 1 in 10,000. And you can put it in normal saline, 1 ml per 45 kg body weight. You can mix it with the saline and give IV. That also can be tried in case of severe anaphylaxis reaction. Otherwise, only cutaneous reactions alone is available, is the appreciable means. You just give antihistamines immediately. So the animal will respond well to the treatment. So anaphylaxis means you have to react immediately. Okay. So the other thing is.